What's going on everyone? My name is Cynic and welcome to episode number three of Know Your History. Now if you guys are brand new to the channel, I'll go ahead and give you guys a, a quick rundown of what the series is. Essentially, I provide a little bit of historical insight to the weapons inside of World War II. We'll also give a little bit of personal feedback on that weapon inside of zombies. And today we're going to be taking a look at the American Mate Thompson submachine gun, specifically the 1928 model as that is apparently the model that we have here inside of World War II. But believe it or not, the Thompson was actually designed during the last stage of World War I in the year of 1918 and the year prior, the United States had seen firsthand what the German-made Bergman MP-18 submachine gun was fully capable of in the hands of the Sturmtruppen or German Stormtroopers, not to be confused with these guys. And fun fact, in the game's case, the Waffe is actually the MP-18, or it's close enough in its weapon design to pretty much say it is the MP-18, and that's pretty much good enough for me. Since launch, I've been referring to it as that, considering there is no real weapon named the Waffe. But anyways, I'm getting off track. The Thompson was initially designed with a auto rifle or a semi-automatic rifle in mind that was meant to replace the bolt action service rifles of the day, namely the Springfield. However, while searching for a way to allow such a weapon to operate safely, the weapon designer, coincidentally named John T. Thompson, stumbled across a patent that was issued in 1915 to John Bell Blish. Blish, sorry about that. John Bell Blish. That was a special kind of breech locking mechanism. Blish licensed the patent to Thompson in exchange for stock in the company, and with this patent, the vision of the Thompson completely changed. It went from being an automatic rifle intended to replace bolt action ARs of the time to a one man handheld machine gun as a trench broom for use of the ongoing trench warfare of World War One, The project for early Thompson prototypes dubbed the weapon name of Annihilator, which is one of the lesser popular nicknames that Thompson has earned over the years. Now I'm going to go ahead and show all the statistics for the 1928 variant here on the screen, but even though that Thompson was designed in 1918 with military service in mind, the weapon wasn't officially adopted by the United States Army until 1938, three years before their entry into World War II. And before that time, the gun had three variants, not including five prototypes of the gun, during this time, the weapon was actually fully available for civilian purchase and contrary to popular belief, was one of the many ways gangsters during the Prohibition era got their hands on the gun as it was fully legal to purchase and own one. Now getting back into World War II, the 1928 Thompson is a wall buy for a thousand points in the courtyard area of the Final Reich Zombies map. It has a quicker time to kill than that of the Type 100, which is an SMG that's 250 points cheaper and is used more as a point builder than an early survival weapon, which is what I would deem the Thompson as. The Thompson has the second highest fire rate out of all the SMGs, only being beat by the MP18, and can survive pretty long without the need of pack a punch. Granted, it does burn through ammo fast, and if you're actually using this weapon is your primary source to stay alive, multiple trips to buy ammo in a single round will be your MO. It can last all the way up until round 25 without upgrading it, however, I wouldn't recommend this as trying to survive that long with, without the weapon being upgraded can get incredibly frustrating trying to kill anything, especially with a weapon with this high of a fire rate. Now once the Thompson is upgraded, it becomes the Chicago Typewriter, another famous nickname that Thompson has earned for itself. This however is specifically in reference to the Prohibition era when gangsters used this weapon as a means to reach an ends. The name stems from the Thompson resembling the sound of a typing typewriter in the distance and because it was very popular in the south side Chicago area of Al Capone's days, hence the name Chicago Typewriter. Now unfortunately all weapons inside World War II zombies are all pretty weak and naturally because of that SMGs are pretty much at the bottom of the barrel. All of them are nice early survival weapons but by the time you hit the late 20s and early 30s, the SMGs really don't do that much damage, they're more point builders than anything else and unfortunately the Thompson is not that an exception. I'd say the Thompson is like a mid tier weapon, for earlier rounds it's more the Type 100 as that's more point, point accumulation it's not that much of a powerful gun unless you're trying to survive from the start then the Thompson may be your go-to But I personally think the Thompson really shines between round 15 and round 25 That's when you really get as much point accumulation as you possibly can while also making sure that this weapon is as ex Killing efficient as it possibly can be but anyways the Thompson is a pretty good gun from the start It's a nice uh, survival weapon, but again by round 25 It's nice to just move on to an assault rifle maybe even an LMG But anyways, my name is Cynic. Thank you guys so much for watching Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below let me know what you guys want to see next. Someone said the bar or BAR. Someone else said the test again. So vote down in the comment section on what video you guys want me to do next. My name is Cynic, but until next time, guys, I'll see you all later.